Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your March 2018 reading. Now generally my readings are love readings. Just take what resonates and leave the rest and keep in mind that this is not a private reading so none of it may resonate with you. Just take what does and leave the rest. Mental conflict. Many of you guys might be feeling stuck in a predicament that you can free yourselves from at any time. There could be some lies surrounding you. You might even be lying to yourself. You do need to let go of something. You're definitely stuck. Yeah, you are. You're stuck in some kind of predicament. And it, it's time. It's time for you to let go. And I think, think that you're resisting. You're resisting letting go of something, but you need to let go of something. This is, means that you need to master your emotions. You need to stop resisting and struggle through whatever this is. Struggle through the thorns. Struggle through the, the brush. Struggle, struggle through the trouble. Struggle through it. It's time. Many of you aren't willing to. It's like, I'm not willing. I'm not willing. You're not willing. You're not willing to shed something that needs to be shed. You're being called to let go of something. What is it, Gemini? What is it that you need to let go of? You know, it's like you're not using your resources to let it go. You're just ignoring it, pretending. You know, you're not taking action, but you're... you're uh, there's a lack of desire to let something go that you need to let go of. You need to let go of it. You know you need to let go of it, but you don't have the strength to let go of it. Oh, the strength card, son of a bitch. I love it when they do this. Son of a god, the strength card. I just said you don't have the strength. I was looking at this card, what comes out? The strength reversed. I'm telling you, they're talking to me. They do it all the time. Anyway, um, <laughs> Yeah, you don't have the strength to let something go. You have to master your emotions. What the hell is this? What are you holding on to? You're holding on to something that doesn't serve you. And it's because you don't want to put you don't want to face the struggle. Yeah, there's some some kind of uh false illusion that you're holding on to. It's like you're you're you have a choice to make. You're confused. And you, it's time for you to, to make a choice, to make this choice, this choice, whatever. You have to live with the consequences, okay? If you, can sit, if you stay stuck wherever it is where you don't have the strength, you know, you're, that's where you're going to be. That's how you're going to live. You're going to live unhappy in this confusion that you're living in. Um, there's some bitterness here. Yes, there is. There's some bitterness. I feel like you are just... You'll probably be pretty angry. I think that you're angry, you're upset, you're ready to fight, but you're not ready to give up. So that's what it is. You're not ready to let go of something. You're wanting to fight for something that you don't, that isn't meant to be in your future. It's never going to work out, okay? It's not going to. So I don't know why you're fighting for something that isn't going to work out. It's like it's never going to turn around. It's never going to happen. What the hell is this? Okay, this is like... You're, you're on, there's unreal, unrealistic. You're fighting for something that is unrealistic. It's some kind of commitment. Some kind of commitment that's unrealistic. Because you think it's love. You're being called to, to be open, to look at something from a new perspective. You have a new opportunity for love, Gemini. You do, but you need to let go of bitterness. You need to let go of anger let go of anger and bitterness and find the strength to free yourself from something this is mental you're 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 holding something in in your head in your mind that needs to go it's angry it's anger and bitterness it is if you were to let go of anger and bitterness you have the potential for a, a new commitment a new love a new relationship this is why this new perspective has come up i think this month you have a you have a new beginning right here in front of you. But you are being, being unrealistic in some way because you're unable to let go of some, some anger and some bitterness over a past commitment that didn't work out. What the hell is this? I need to zoom this in, I think, unless I already did. See, I get going so fast that I can't remember. Many of you um, really need to dig deep. 
You need to dig deep into your in, in, inside. You need to dig deep down inside. Okay, and you need to invest time in yourself, in, to invest time in this personal freedom that you need to bring about in your mind. You need to really focus and invest your energy into letting go of these old ways right here with the magician. These, these old patterns, these old habits, these old notions, these old feelings that make you feel bitter and angry. You have to invest time in yourself to develop yourself intuitively and spiritually to let go of this mind game that you're playing with yourself this is just you don't need to carry this bitterness and anger around you don't and you know you may <laughs> there could be an offer that gets rejected because of it this is a rejection of an offer and right connected to this ace of cups and this four of wands i mean you could lose an offer because of bitterness, because of anger that you're holding on inside. Or you may reject an offer because you're too bitter and angry. It could go both ways. Yeah. The thing is, is that it's, it's really time for you to stop being so defensive. Stop being so defensive. You don't need to be defensive. Trust yourself. Trust your inner knowing. Trust your inner guide. Trust the path. Trust the script. Trust yourself. Trust the universe. Trust the divine. There's a lesson that needs to be learned here. This is the world card, but unfortunately, it is reversed. It comes out upright when you've learned the lesson. Unfortunately, you have not learned it yet. You have to learn a lesson before this new love that is being offered to you or around you can flourish you need to learn some lesson you need to close some door you need to end one chapter first and this chapter has to do with letting something go that is playing mind games with you right now you're being tested <laughs> you are you're being tested right now to you're being tested your strength your willpower your ability to master your emotions yeah, that's what you this is the test this is the lesson the test the lesson to master your emotions to master these mind games to master your fears to free yourself from these mental conflicts that are holding you back this is a test do you have the strength to do it if you have the strength to let go of this past and not bring it with you really 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 let it go stop being so defensive stop thinking this person is going to hurt you like the last one did stop using the past against this new person or a new opportunity when you have really really mastered your emotions through strength this world card will flip over and the test will be learned i'm telling you right now you guys are being tested your strength is being tested with new love and the thing is, is you have to take action. You can't just sit there and and pretend that everything's okay. I feel like you guys are, you could certainly miss a chance. You could certainly miss another chance with somebody or a chance with a new person and lose an opportunity in love because of this mental conflict that you cannot let go of. So Gemini, you're being offered an opportunity for love but there's some bitterness and there's some anger inside of you that, that is affecting any future in love, any new future in love, because you have to let it go. Okay, there's a, there's a somebody could reject an offer, whether it's you or the other person. There, I look. It looks to me like there could be a rejected offer of love because somebody isn't taking the action that they need to take to let the past go. There's, there's no truth. There, this is truth, but it's reversed. There's no truth. There's no renewal. There's no chance. There's no awakening. There's no epiphany. There's no awakening. Because you, you can't, you're not letting go of something. You're holding on to something. You're wanting to fight. You're wanting to have your guard up. You're wanting to be defensive. And that's not serving the other person very well. There's a lack of wish fulfillment here because there's a lack of hope. There's a lack of inspiration. There's a lack of, of fulfillment 
because you're not allowing yourself to be free from the past. Damn it. There's an opportunity. You're at a crossroads. What are you going to do? This is the crossroads, okay? Do you go do you stay stuck in your mental mind game or do you walk away from it for real? This is the road. This is the this is the fork in the road, okay? You're at the end of the road. There's a big boulder. You can only go left or right. One light one way is personal freedom. The other way is staying trapped. What is it gonna be? What are you gonna do? Do you wanna stay trapped or do you wanna move forward? What do you wanna do? That's the question. Think fast, do it now, get moving. You're gonna lose an opportunity. Are you even thinking about it? Are you ready? Do you wanna lose an opportunity? Because that's what's gonna happen if you don't move on. You could lose an opportunity just like that because of past hurt. It's up to you. It's in your hands. This month you have a decision to make. You have a choice to make. You have to choose which way to go. Do you stay trapped in the past or do you move forward? You are being tested. Your mental strength is being tested this month. Can you let your guard down? Can you stop being defensive? Can you just go with the flow? Can you just go with your with your your path? Can you just trust your intuition and go with it? Can you just do what you need to do instead of overanalyzing? Can you? If you continue to overanalyze this new love, then you can expect to lose it. It's in your hands. It's time to make a decision. You have to make the choice. If you want to let the past ruin your next relationship, so be it. It's up to you. Creativity. Choice. Imagine that. It is your choice. Anyway, express your creativity. Delight in the mystery of your inner muse. Seriously. Just go. Go with it. Go with this new love without fear. Let go of the fear. Let your inner guide drive. Just go with it, like I was saying. You have a choice to make. Reconsider a commitment. You have the right to change your mind. It's your choice. You have to make a choice, Gemini. Do you stay stuck in this mental conflict mind game? And keep defending yourself based on this ass that hurt you. Or do you just let it go for real and move on? If you, if you keep having to overanalyze and defend yourself, then you can say goodbye to new love. Talk to you later.